Here, I think it's about time we did something about it. We don't want to put my life in jeopardy, but I guess someone has to do it, you know. Exactly, that's why we have the law in South Africa. We should go to the police and report this. I think we should do it right now. Exactly. Yeah. 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 Yes, yeah. yes, um, apparently, uh, this lady here just got mugged just recently, and um. Luckily, I'm sharing it below, but other than that, see, something was going to happen, you know, and there are a lot of crimes, and there's a lot of people down there, you know, I'm still surprised that no one is doing anything about it, so we came here asking for help, it's in this season, because like, it's definitely very difficult. And everybody almost worked here, in and Johansson, Zinu, Mohamed, Ohan, Thailand, this is the only person who can learn, and I'm not the first, either the last victim. It's like it's new stuff, new stock, like, and it's so like, oh, beautiful. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. Can you just please do five minutes of your time? It's okay. Yeah. Uh, since like in Atlanta, I'm going to see some of them. I'm going to see some of them. So, this is what I'm going to see. I'm going to see some of them. I'm going to see no, like you, our oh, lives. No, no, that, but our lives. I was a victim. I was. How many victims do you think Bahambalana been doing the same thing and no one says nothing? Won't you be proud today? Yes, to I'll be proud. But like, but like, see, the whole life. Probably losing swag. Guys, these are criminals. Come on, someone has to do something. As I said, you think you are in the middle of a man? Yeah, yeah, that's Thank you. Oh, it's very nice of you guys. So, as I said, you are in the middle of a man. You are in the middle of a man. You are in the middle of a man. You are in the middle of so born and now we are taking you into somewhere down the line. Got to my sense, it's a land in a sea, it's a beautiful name, and 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 it's a beautiful name. Hey, 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 hey,
Greetings, saints in the wonderful name, my Lord and Savior Christ Jesus. My name is Lindani Msweli, and I head the Sons of Thunder or the Teenagers Ministry. Uh, I know you are not quite aware of the video that you are watching, what its true meaning is. So I am here to just enlighten you on what is happening in the video. The video is primarily based in 2 Corinthians chapter number 9 from verse 6 to 7, which I will read for you right now. From verse 6, remember this, whoever sows sparingly will also reap sparingly, and whoever sows generously will also reap generously. Each man should give what he has decided in his heart to give, not reluctantly or under compulsion, for God loves a cheerful giver. Amen. I'm going to repeat the last part of verse 7 for you. For God loves a cheerful giver. Amen. We are just echoing out this cry or this last part of verse 7 that God loves a cheerful giver. Uh, for too long has this doctrine been in the church that if you do not offer, if you do not give in the house of God, you are he that is to be under a curse. Yes, it is true that if you do not bring your tithes into the storehouse, that your money or your finances stand cursed. But let us not be those that amplify that, but rather let us amplify the goodness of God so that people might give out of the joy and the abundance of the love for Christ in their hearts. Because Jesus came as a priest in the order of Melchizedek. And if you look at the story of Melchizedek, we see that Abraham tithed to him because Melchizedek had released a blessing to Abraham. So now also we the church, we have to expect those to tithe, those which we have released blessings upon. We are those that cannot just sit back and relax and expect people to give in the house of the Lord. Even as Christ came and offered himself, the second priest, the second Melchizedek in the Bible, the second or the last man, Adam, he came and he gave himself. So now we offer our offerings as a response to the goodness and the blessing that is found in the blood of Jesus and his coming on earth. So now we are not those that give reluctantly or under compulsion as verse 7 says we are not to be those but we give out of love and out of joy because if you see the women in the video you can see that they had to give their positions their cell phones and their money because of the knives that they were held against them because they feared that the knife were going to be used to threaten their life their knives were used to hurt them and injure them so is the case with the curses we waver in front of the people of God and we find them now being reluctant to give even having not planned to give in the house of God they end up giving what they not planned for and that does not please God because if you read Jeremiah chapter 17 verse number 10 it says the I the Lord search the heart and examine the mind to reward a man according to his conduct, according to what his deeds deserve. So it doesn't matter if you give a thousand rand, if you give five hundred rand, if you give two hundred rand. But if the attitude of your mind and your heart is not in the giving, and if you are being grieved and you are not joyous or happy when you do so, then you will not receive a reward for what you have done in the house of God. So you are no different from a person that has not given any offering at all. So I'd like to encourage you saints, even as you're about to give today, that you do so out of the joy that is in your heart, the joy of salvation and the thought and the memory of what Christ did for us on Calvary. If you look properly at the video, the two culprits that were busy 
taking these people's possessions under compulsion, they ended up being punished for that. And I don't want us who stand and teach and minister before the people to have punishment waiting for us in heaven for having not corrected and having not taught the people accurately. And that is why I saw a need that we make this video so that we may correct the doctrine that has been taught and hence spare ourselves, those who teach from the wrath of God. And then we might be able to all come and and give an offer with joyous and happy hearts. Okay, be blessed saints and bring all your offerings as praise and glory to God. For the Bible says that let everything that has breath praise the Lord. Let us praise him with our offerings and let us do so joyously. Amen.